welcome and welcome back. Me and my new hair are very excited to be here today with a Billie Eilish doll. Wait, no. Sorry, Jade Hunter from Rainbow High. Uh, all jokes aside, it's pretty clear that this doll is heavily inspired by Billie Eilish. Claudina9 actually did a really good video that touched on the subject a couple days ago, so if by some weird chance you're seeing this and you haven't seen that one, definitely go check it out. It's a little more in-depth than I'll be going here because this doll is pretty self-explanatory in her inspirations. That being said, she is still a really beautiful, really interesting doll. You gotta say it for Billy and obviously for Jade here as well. The fashions are very different than maybe like the typical fashion. So I'm very interested to see how those look for her. You can see with the front of the box here, you get a good view of Jade and then her extra accessories. She does come with a second pair of sneakers and then kind of a track suit here. This side is just a purple rainbow holographic. This side is clear. And then on the back, we have the cast and crew of Rainbow High. I did read the blurb at the bottom here in my Ruby Anderson review. So if for some reason you are so inclined to hear me read that, you can go ahead and check that video out. And then on MGA's website, just like with everybody else, they do have official art of Jade Hunter. It is in full color, so it's a little bit easier to see. I'll go ahead and pop that up on the screen here so y'all can take a look at her design. And as far as her personality goes, I think so far out of everybody that I reviewed, I relate the most to Jade. She is kind of someone who has to be herself and has to be herself despite the fact that that is not what's the norm and what's popular. And I definitely relate to the idea of having to feel true to yourself. She is also, much like Poppy Rowan was focused on music and DJing, Jade here is focused on makeup, so she is the makeup artist of the bunch. I will go ahead and pop up the whole description of her here if you want to go ahead and pause the video to read that in more detail. But aside from that, that's what we know about Jade. I am very excited to get her out of the box. The boxes are really, really beautiful, and I always feel a little bit guilty tearing them open, but I've gotta see this girl up close. So let's get her unboxed, and we'll see what she's got going on. Alrighty, y'all, we have got Jade Hunter and all of her lovely accessories all spread out for you to see. So let's just go ahead and dive on in. If we pick up Jade very gently here, she has got the usual rooted lashes, inset eyes. I will say she has a little bit more of a painted lash to her. Kind of a minty, like bluish green, faintly glittering eyeshadow there with also a hint of kind of a more brownie color. Makes more sense that she would have a little bit more eye makeup since, you know, she is supposed to be the makeup artist of the group. She is wearing some blush. She has got that typical shine inset into the plastic. Just like with the others that I've had, there is nothing coming off on my thumb here. Again, that is a complaint that some people have had. It's not a problem for me, thankfully, but just so that you are aware, there is a little bit of a dark spot above her eyebrow here. It's very, very faint. It's hardly noticeable, but a little, little flaw there. And then she does have kind of green to blue eyes and a nude lipstick. I will say I'm slightly disappointed in the lipstick. I know she does have more going on with her eye makeup for like her makeup artist shtick, but I think that, you know, a makeup artist doll would have been a really great opportunity for them to give her a very bold lip. I would have loved to see her with like a bright blue lip or a you know, emerald lip or even like a black, very daring. I like really, really bold lips. So maybe that's just my bias talking. But yeah, I think that if they were gonna do it on one of these dolls, this would have been MGA's opportunity to do something a little different. But she is still a beautiful doll. Her face is definitely very gorgeous and put together. Her hat, I do just wanna touch on before I get to the hair. It is fabric unlike Ruby Anderson's hat, which I'm very grateful for. I think especially that it is a beanie, it's pretty important that it's fabric. Now it was attached in four or five different spots to her head, so it was very difficult to get off, especially without trying 
to cut the hair. Uh, I did manage it. I think I maybe lost a couple strands, but yeah, just be aware that that is definitely very, very precise work to do. But now it does come off for her. And then we can get a good look at her hair. It is extremely hard to tell on camera. I think you can kind of see it right in here. That there are two shades of green. There's kind of a little bit of a lighter green and then a very slightly darker green. So she does have dual toned hair, but unlike some of the other dolls in the Rainbow High line, Jade's hair is very, very monochromatic. Like, I think Poppy's was the most subtle so far, and then Skylar has had the most like obvious dual toning, or hers was triple toning in her hair. But yeah, with Jade, it is like almost impossible even in person to see the difference. She does have very, very heavy product on the end of her two front curls. But on the back, it is nice and soft, so nothing a good wash won't fix for her. Jade also comes whoo, with these earrings, perhaps Jade earrings, who knows? <laughs> They, I like the idea. I do think that like the diamond stud is very cute for her, especially with kind of like the more gender neutral clothing. It is like a little hint of like feminine, but I think they're kind of big. Like from the sides, they just stick out really, really far. And obviously with a doll, it's like hard to proportion everything because everything is on such a small scale. But I'm, I'm kind of undecided on the earrings. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments because for me, they just, they pop out a little bit far, but they also add a lot to her face. So I'm not really sure how I feel about them. Uh, moving on down, she does have the same typical rotation that we've seen in her shoulders and in her elbows, the bending, the hands can bend and rotate and pop out. Uh, I have seen more and more online people who are finding that their joints are stiff and very easily broken. I have found in a couple of the dolls that I've unboxed so far stiff joints. Thankfully, I have not broken any yet, but do be careful when you are posing or playing with these dolls because that is a known issue. But she does still have that articulation at least. It's a lot easier to do in the shorts than it is in the dresses, like move her hips. So that's super, super nice. And as far as the outfit that Jay comes with on, her puffer coat is a little bit different than Poppy Rowan's. For one thing, it is full length instead of a crop. And it is more of a like soft, silky fabric instead of it being almost like a plasticky feel to it. I love it a lot. It does still have that puffer coat quality. You can see the seams that give it the puff and the nice cuffing at the wrist here. She's got the real zipper tracks, and I do like the white detail here. And then drawstrings on the bottom. This is probably one of my favorite jackets that I've seen so far out of the Rainbow High dolls. I think this one's really like soft and squishy and fun, but it still looks so realistic. So you get all of the playability and also all of the detail, so that's wonderful. Underneath, she is just wearing a short sleeve shirt you can see there. It says Anti-Sparkle Sparkle Club on it, so black, white, and then the green. Her shorts almost remind me of like a uh, like a swim trunk. I know that is not at all the idea, like they're more of like a sporty short, but just to me, they remind me of a swim trunk. She does have an actual tie here. And if I pull at it, I actually don't feel it loosening. I don't know if that's just that it is tied very, very tightly or maybe double knotted, or if this is actually sewn on so that you couldn't untie it, but that is interesting because some of the other dolls, um, most notably Poppy, had strings that you could undo. Maybe you could with this, but I'm pulling pretty hard and I'm not feeling any difference. So I think that's actually sewn on. But her shorts are super cool looking, the graffiti, is really rad. It says sparkle up here. I think it says rainbow kind of along the side. So all fitting in with the rest of her outfit, but giving it that kind of like grungy street edge. Then the shoes that she comes with, I gotta say they're not for me. They are cool in the respect of being cool doll shoes. I don't like the pink on the bottom at all. I think the pink compared to the green is really like 
a garish contrast. It's just not for me. It is cool though that the sole of the shoe has got the green striping and also a little bit of the clear plastic. You can see it says rainbow around the side starting there and just going around and that is the same for both shoes. I do really appreciate that the laces are painted on black. That is a lovely detail that we've seen with the other dolls so far. Just like really, really good paint jobs in the shoes. So I do appreciate that. The other thing with the shoes, if you saw my Skylar um, review, she had a pair of flat footed boots, much like the sneakers here, and also high heels. And MGA had molded her foot into a heeled shape, but then given like the shape of the shoe, kind of an extra groove inside so that you could fit a tilted foot into a flat shoe. I wasn't sure how this was gonna be for Jay just because she only comes with sneakers. She doesn't come with heels at all. But if I struggle off camera, because these shoes are on very tight, I will say that. Oof, there we go. If you take off her shoe, you can see that her foot is also angled. So she actually could mix and match if you wanted her to with the other doll's shoes. She's not locked into just wearing the flat footed. So I do think that that's nice that even though she's supposed to have like a sportier, kind of more gender neutral vibe, she still has the option there in her foot molding to be able to wear, you know, high heels. And then obviously that means that these shoes on the inside have that extra groove molded in so anybody else could wear her shoes as well. I will be changing her shoes off later for my display, so I'm gonna just leave this one on, or off, because like I said, these shoes are really, really tight. Then when it comes to everything else that she comes with, we have got the Rainbow High Stand. Jade's is a little bit of a darker green with that glitter embedded inside. Same sort of material with her comb here. And the Rainbow Embossing. Just like the other dolls, she comes with a top hanger and then a functioning pant hanger. And then the exciting part, of course, is her extra accessories. I like her extra set of shoes much, much better than the ones that she comes with. I think that these studs are super edgy and fun. The slightly iridescent white of the main body of the sneaker is extra gorgeous. And again, just a lovely detailed paint job, even down to the tiny RH on the back for Rainbow High. Just very, very nice. Definitely better to me than the ones with the pink. I'm just not a fan of the pink. <laughs> then her tracksuit bottoms have an actual, actual string here. Again, not one that you can pull. This one isn't tied though, so you could tie this one up for sure if you wanted to. Very, very faintly in the white, you can see that it says rainbow. And they are just a silky, slightly lighter green than her puffer jackets with a rainbow high down the side along with some stripes and some cuffs at the bottom. So kind of a jogger fit to her extra set of pants. Now these don't have any Velcro, they are just an elasticated waist, which I thought was interesting, but it definitely stretches enough to where I cannot imagine it being a problem to get onto your doll. So just an interesting point there. Her second shirt she comes with is a little less edgy to me. Um, I feel like I've seen this in like Target and Walmart, this sort of design, but that's okay. I think it could be good for people who aren't as big a fan of all of her like graffiti sort of style. So it just says RH on the basic white t-shirt with the word rainbow kind of superimposed in green there. I will say that just for my personal style, I would have really loved to see her come with a cropped top. I think joggers and a crop top is a super, super cute combination. Obviously though, that would not really fit in with Jade's style. So I get why they didn't, but just kind of my personal preference there. And then the star of the show to me when it comes to Jade's clothing is this extra jacket. We have got a more cottony material on the collar and then on the cuffs and that same silky green throughout the rest. She does also have some of the cotton on the back here for the 
waistband. Then the black detailing on the shoulders, that same silky material. Actual zipper tracks. But these pockets are to die for. Look at these pockets. I love like the detail with the black, the black edging, and especially this buckle and this little tiny strip of ribbon that says rainbow down it over and over. It looks so good. The one thing is that they are sewn down, so you can't like flap the pocket up, but really who is complaining about that? They look amazing. I really thought when I first saw this doll in box that I was going to like Jade's puffer jacket a lot more than I like this one, but now I'm so torn. I have no idea what I'm gonna end up putting her in for my display. Overall, just very cute. There's nothing on the back here, so it really is a jacket where the front is the star of the show. I know a couple of the other jackets have had designs on the back, but not for, um, not for Jade. She's just all out in the open. <laughs> so that is what I have for y'all today. I do think that, like I said, it's not so much of my personal style, the way that Jade is designed. She is a gorgeous doll though. I cannot fault MGA whatsoever for all of the details that they've put into her. It's just not my favorite, but she is still super gorgeous. I would definitely recommend grabbing her if you like this style or even if you just want to complete the set like I do. <laughs> I do still have violets and then sunny to do and then we are done with the six main dolls. I can't believe I'm blowing through these like this. So if you like this video, please do go ahead and give it a like. Um, subscribe if you feel like seeing my other reviews come out and comment how your feelings are, if I can improve it all. I would love to hear back from you guys and grow in this community. So thank you a whole bunch for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.